Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court. You've got courtside seats for my review of the brand new Netflix, Malevolent. Let's do it. Malevolent is a horror film from director Olaf de Fleur Johannesson and Netflix. The movie stars Florence Pugh, Celia Imry, Ben Lloyd Hughes, Scott Chambers, and Georgina Bevan. A group of fake paranormal investigators suffer the ultimate reality check when confronted by the true horrors that lie hidden within a haunted orphanage. Okay, so just a quick one today. I saw the trailer for this movie recently, and I thought it looked terrible, but I thought I'd give it a shot. You know what? It's not terrible. It's actually a pretty decent little horror movie. It's got a couple of pretty good creeps, and it's not just jump scares. Refreshing. The acting in this movie is fine for the most part, but there are two standouts. We have Celia Emery, who plays the older lady who owns the orphanage, and of course our female lead, played by Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh is really good in this movie. I'm starting to take notice of this actress. She was recently in Outlaw King, which she was fantastic in. Outlaw King comes out on Netflix next month. I saw it last month at TIFF, so I'll leave a link to my review up there somewhere. Check it out. Good movie. And the movie does use a lot of common horror tropes like, you know, creepy little girls and creepy mannequins. Here's a thought. If you think your house is haunted, maybe don't keep creepy mannequins in your attic. So yes, it does use some of those tropes, but it also subverts a few of them as well. Like we don't get a little kid singing a nursery rhyme. That's something different. They actually use this song. I don't even know how I would describe the song. And this song is, I think, Normally would be kind of fun, but in context, it's very creepy. And the song kind of keeps speeding up each time it goes through its verse. And it keeps speeding up and it ratches up with the tension that's going along on screen. And I thought that worked really, really well. Now, the editing in this movie is interesting. Most of it is fairly conventional. But there are certain moments in the film where the editing is used to great effect to really disorient the viewer. And I liked that. Now, I pretty well dug the first and the second act. I wasn't a big fan of the third. In the third act, we start getting all the answers. And frankly, I didn't like the answers. It also turned into a little bit torture porn towards the end. Not too bad, but still, for a movie that was mostly creep and then it just kind of got gory, eh. Having said that, after the climax, the movie does have a really nice little ending that I enjoy. I didn't love Malevolent, but like I said, it's a decent little horror flick with a good couple of scares. It's not gonna turn the genre on its ear, but if you're staying at home for a little bit of Netflix and chill, you want a couple of little creeps, you could do a lot worse. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Malevolent, and I think I'm gonna give Malevolent a... Did the bed levitate? Yeah, yeah, with me on it. Spontaneous recurrent psychokinesis, oh boy. Oh, this could be the worst case I've ever seen. Oh yeah, this is bad. Out of 10. So now I want to know, have you seen Malevolent? What is your favorite net flick of the year so far? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.